and as an English teacher and a math and science teacher, we just saw so much potential for the amount of curriculum that could be connected to that. families in New Haven had strong memories of going to rural places and enjoying being outside and we thought we could build on that um, and use that as a context for education about science and the planet um, and how cities were part of an environmental movement. At first we just had these meetings like in we met at the Connecticut Agricultural Station sometimes we met at Yale Forestry School Sometimes we met outside on the Yale campus, and we just invited everybody in the school system. And so we told all the teachers in the Haven Public Schools, hey, would you like to start a school with us? Description of what the proposal was, the RFP came out in September. It was due in, in December, and then they made the decisions for which of the first five charters would be funded. So we found out in March that we had to open a school in September. There no building. August, oh yeah, August, yeah. No building, no students. Well, one of, one of the funniest things was um, we would hold interviews for everyone in the lottery, which is basically kind of, it was really a get to know you and make sure you understand what Common Ground is about before you show up. And um, uh, there were so many families that would walk up the drive, they'd get off the city bus down there in the middle of nowhere, um, and then like try to figure out what direction to walk in to find this place and then they'd start walking up the hill and they would knock on the door to ask directions because they figured this was a house and uh, this couldn't be a school, it didn't look like a school. Um, There's no buzzer and security and um, so they'd knock on the door and ask where, you know, if there was a school near here somewhere and then we'd have to, we'd start to explain that this was the school and then what, they couldn't quite picture this was going to be where they would go. We were creating a place where um, where urban students could be as excited about the environment and their city um, as we were, because we were young and just like completely fascinated with nature in the city and growing food and producing food and eating food and um, the community that would come together around that. There were a lot of years when it was really, really hard and, and we were really skeptical and, and in some ways it, it kind of, it feels like that if you have a dream and and great people around you that the, and, and a lot of hard work, that the dream can come true no matter what that is. 